There's something with you. Um, okay. Why are you holding it like that? Why don't you put it on you? I'm not talking. Yes, you are. You're going to be talking. You're going to be talking. I've been, I've been um, struggling with something that um, I just needed. I just needed an answer. <clears throat> and uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. You know how, how God actually. Um, he always gives you an answer, but you don't really want to accept it because yes. you really want a different answer. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been through that. Yeah, talk, yeah. Tell me about that <clears throat> with you. About, um... Yeah, like, like, and, and, um, God, God tells you something, you know something, you know actually exactly but maybe it's it's hard to accept because you want you think there's something better put it that way or a better answer especially when it comes when it pertains to helping people yeah and, or something i just don't want to do like necessarily so and then he then he gives you the answer again a different way mm -hmm. And then he, get, and then you still like, uh, you know, like like Abram, he was like, Lord, if there's, uh, mm. if I could find a hundred righteous people or a thousand righteous people, all right, will you destroy? It? No, I won't. How about a hundred righteous people? Because I couldn't find a thousand. No. Uh, all right, what about 70, 8, 60, 50? Uh, yeah. All right, what about, like, you keep going to God. He already told you the place needs to be destroyed. Wow, <laughs> yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Because ain't nothing going to happen. It ain't going to change. They ain't going to change. It need to be destroyed. Wow. And you're like, I don't want it destroyed. Yeah. I love these people. Mm. I love this place. I mm. love everything about it. I don't mm. want it to be destroyed. He's like, uh, then he says again, he says again, um, it needs to be destroyed. Wow. Well, if I find 10, will you destroy it? <laughs> and he's like, okay, if you find 10. Which he already know. Uh-huh. He can find 10. Then he goes, um, I can't find 10. How about 9, 8, 7? How about 5? How about 5, 5? Mm -hmm. But you already got the answer, right? Yeah. Oh, man. <clears throat> so I already knew, but then he clarified it even more. I'm like, Lord. Hi, hey, Mary. Um, hey, Mary. <clears throat> so I'm gonna say something, and you, you, you tell me. And this, this, this is nothing but Holy Ghost. I said, Lord, here we are. Really, the the time of of the year is really over. But because we go by another calendar, people still think, oh yeah, you know, it's. Gregorian calendar that it's not officially over until January or the end of December. Yeah. The last day of December. <clears throat> and I'm like, Lord, how could I can I can I help such and such? And, mm. and he's like, You want to pursue them. They need to pursue mm. you. Well that's true. Then he says this. Whoa. That's true. Then he says this. Now listen. One of the reasons why a lot of people just won't do what they need to do and what they do is, mo is mostly opposing you, opposing you, opposition. Listen to this. Spirit said to me, because it's more easy to fight than to follow. Mm. Oh my gosh. Easier to fight than to follow. Put it, mm. on, put it on you. 
Wow. Okay. It's more easier to fight you than to follow you. Mm. It's wow. easier to oppose. Is that is that so? Yeah, that reminds me of what we were talking about in bed this morning. We talk a lot in bed. And we were talking about a horse, a wild horse, and breaking their will. So the, the wild horse finds it more easy to fight, right? Because they don't want to give up their right. what they feel is their freedom, roaming free. They don't want to be domesticated. They don't right. want to be tamed. What they feel. Yeah, what they feel. You know, they <clears throat> and they don't realize when they wow, they're confined. Wow. When they wow, when when that horse they ha when they have the wow horses, they they won't let them out. They're actually because they're wow. Wow. And even wow horses that are so called free, they are in a particular territory. They don't go. They don't get to go all over with somebody that's riding them to places they never even imagined. Right, and then because they're confined, they have to find their own food and sustenance. It's and like shelter it's like, and like, like that. <laughs> exactly. They have to find stuff versus yeah. it's being brought to them because it's like being in a tent. Wow, a place of confinement. Yeah. Now that was one thing. <clears throat> so the Lord said, "You got to find people who are not going to fight you. Mm. You have to p find people who are going to follow." Wow. Because. It's easier for them to fight than to follow because they've been following something else that has actually been trapping them for their, all their life for years. They, things that they have uh, fix, fixations on mm -hmm. that don't work, that they know don't work, yeah. but they're so fixated on it. Yeah. Attitudes, thoughts, yeah. anger opinions emotions, uh, emotions mm -hmm. uh, uh, definitely emotions poverty and they're fixated on that you want to show folks a different way yeah right Truly. and therefore to show them a different way they have to follow that it is so much comforting to stay in what you're familiar in even if it's causing suffering and wow. suffocation. Just simply on the sheer reason that you don't want to give it up. Because you know it. It's familiar. It goes back to that tree of right. knowledge of good and evil. It's familiar. Struggling this is, what is familiar. I know. Yes. So I don't want to, I'd rather fight you than follow you because this is what I know. And you want to get me in uncharted territory. And yeah. I'm fighting against Suffering that. is what I know. Mm. Uh, singleness is what I know. Yeah. Isolation is what I know. Obesity is what I know. Sickness and disease is what I know. Lazy is what I know. Wow. You're telling me to work. You're telling me to invest. You're telling me to be a communicator. You're telling me <laughs> to be a praiser. Mm. You tell. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You're telling me to be a worker. How about this political You're telling me to be in purpose? I and yeah. I've, I've been lax a days ago? Right. This political party is what I know. Because this is what we've always voted. Right. I, you know, I don't even know what, why, but this is what we've always done. Yeah, this is what this is everybody in my family. <laughs> everybody in my family eat pork chops. <laughs> everybody in my family eat, eat, everybody in my family eat bacon. Everybody <laughs> in my family has diabetes. Wow. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So mm, that's a good it's reason. easier, it's more easier to fight you than to follow yeah. you. Yeah. And wow. why should I pursue? Because if I pursue, that means I got to change. And if I pursue, I'll go and give you a little call. I'm interested. Mm. But if you don't call me back. Oh, well, at least I called. Yeah, at least I called. Yeah. So, and I can stay in this unchanged state. Right. That's true. Very true. <clears throat> wow. Okay. I see what you're saying. But so hopefully that was some relief talk. for you. Wait, wait. Well, hope, put hopefully. some more light on that. Oh, I got more. Hopefully that was some relief for you because it you know, was. You it know really you just want to get something to people. It's like, do you want to take the, the remainder of, even like I said, the, the, the major part of the year is done. But do you want to take your place?
planning season and pursue people who should be pursuing you. Mm. Mm. You know, you give people opportunities, mm -hmm. free opportunities, and they go, oh, I'll call, or I'll, I would, you know, no, 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 no. And the bottom line is you have to get to the point where you're serious. You're really serious enough that nothing's going to stop nothing's you. Nothing's going to stop because, you. Because. Uh, you'll, 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 be you'll be at the front door. The, and see, this is what, so what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Chase? That's what God says. Mm -hmm. God says, I want you to chase after me. Yeah. God says, I want you to press. God says, I want you to pursue. That's what seeking is. Yeah. Seeking the kingdom is not inquiring about the kingdom. Seeking the kingdom is not being just inquisitive. Seeking the kingdom is just not, uh, oh yeah, that, that sounds interesting. And never, never act upon it, never no. pursue it. It's and a pursuit. I realized from a lot of your posts, which I really appreciate, um, that, and I don't use the word can't in my you know vocabulary, but um, I realized that the difference between winners and losers is winners figure out everywhere, every reason they can do something, whereas losers figure out everywhere reason they can't yeah. do something. They give you every reason they can't like do something, but winners are going to say, oh no, nothing's going to stop me. I'm going to tell you all the reasons I can <laughs> against all odds. This is why I can do this. I don't care what obstacles are in my way. I know I can do this. A loser's like... Um, it's in Proverbs where it's like, oh, the, the slugger or the sloth won't even raise his hand to his mouth to feed himself or he'll say there's a lion outside. That's why I'm not able to do something. Right. He's going to just come up with all these different reasons why I'm just not able to do this or follow through or make it happen. There's just some reason, you know, there's just some excuse. And they all seem legitimate and, val and valid. But again, someone who is a pursuer a winner, um, which you always say is an ex-loser who got mad, they got mad at their situation. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be like, you know what? Nothing is going to stop me from getting this done, accomplishing right. this goal, reaching this pinnacle. Mm -hmm. Whereas a loser's like, um, you know what? I was gonna, I was, I really was gonna do it, but it right. rained. It rained today. I was really gonna, <laughs> you know. Because, because winners make things happen. Losers let things happen. Uh, Wow. I'll say it again. Wow. Winners make things happen. Losers let things happen. Wow. And wow. then you get people in limbo. They don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> They're in the middle, huh? They just they don't yeah. know what's going on. Yeah. Wow. Who are those again? The uh, who are in the who just let, don't know what happened? What'd you just say? Those in the middle, like those they, in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna share this with you. Are you Next ready? Time we got to put this up on the windshield. Oh, we got to get a witcher call. Um, okay. I'm going to share this with you. Check this out. You know what? I go away. <clears throat> so the Lord revealed to me, there's an idol in this generation. <clears throat> and, and th in this generation, 2024, 2025, this is the idol of the generation. Now, you know what an idol is? Yes. Okay? It's a false god. It's something people are worshiping. People are idolizing it. Mm -hmm. The idol of this generation is average. Ooh. And, Ooh. And, and how would you define average? How would you define average? Co commonality? Common, not not standing out What's or being exceptionally good or exceptionally what, Give me bad. another word. Um, status quo. Status quo is good. How about normal? Mm. Normalcy. Yeah. Okay. So what what is the homosexual community doing? What are they they doing? want you to accept. They, it's normal. It's this is average. This is the status quo. Yeah. This okay. is the idol of this. I don't think you got what I'm saying. Okay. The idol of this generation is let's the, we, we want to be normal. It, it, this is normal. It's normal to oh, not. I got go to, you. I it's got you. Nor this is normal. So making things that are not normal, normal. It's normal. 
it's normal to be home in front of your computer and let's let's work from home but that's it's, really not normal. no that's not normal but we're just gonna make it so it's normal today to be single to be a strong yeah. black woman and be single how about it's normal today it's, not to go to church it's right? normal to oh it's really, normal because everybody church. else the, the, the the church is weak. The church has too many hypocrites. Wow. This is normal. The status quo, average. The idol of this generation is average. Wow. Let's, let's, let's. It, it, In it, other it, words, accepting that, let's just be like everybody else. The let's herd. be like every, let, oh, let's herd. conform to the world. Because this is the, Conformity. this is the status quo. Give me another word. This is average. This is, this is normalcy. Yeah, this is um, conformity. This is divorce. It's the herd. Divorce. The majority of people, marriages don't work. Whoa. This is normal. Acceptance. Yeah. Wow. Accept it. Middle, be middle married. ground. Yeah, be married for a couple months, but then get a divorce because this is normal. Your da wow. your daddy did it. Your sister did it. Your aunt did it. Your next door neighbor did it. This is normal. Wow. Obesity. In it's, our churches, yeah. it's normal. It runs in the family. You know? Yeah. It, so it's normal. The best gospel singers, overweight. Wow. That's normal. Wow. But it's an idol. Because it's not in God's design, nor his original idea. But we accept it as average so and people, normal. Scene. People are erecting that image above what God said they can be doing half. Uh-uh. You're not doing that, are you? Doing what? You want to you wanna pause? And no. Then Oh. We never do that. I'll, I'll go. What's she going on? I've never done that. Okay, and you? I see. I'll be. Do you want so you to want to be normal? <laughs> no, I just, that was, that was. <laughs> All right. Y'all seeing, are, are you getting this? This is vital. We have actually, let me. Okay, so I've been asking the Lord, how do I help your people in this season? How do I help your people to improve the quality of their lives, to improve their relationship with you, to improve in the area of relationships, to improve in the area of their finances? to improve in the area of their health. Like, Lord, and how do I help them to accelerate? Because some are ages behind. And I really, really, really poured out my heart. I really want to know. Where at the same time, it doesn't disturb my composure. It doesn't disturb my peace. It doesn't agitate me it doesn't irritate me how can i better help your people and the lord just let me know i want to have a wait till lady will make it how you doing mama how you doing how you doing how you doing blessings blessings i'm actually streaming um live on facebook lady woman i'm gonna give you this phone so I'm going to tell you later what, like how this came about. Um, so I was asking, and you know, I, I, that's probably one of my major prayers, I, but I, I see, I'm not going to have to be praying that prayer too much more. I was like, how, how Lord can I really help your people? How can I help them in every facet of their life? Uh, spiritually, relational, financially health. Lord, you know my heart. I really want to help the people. I, I came up under a leader that that's all he did. Till mm -hmm. it killed him. 
Let me tell you the answer I got. Um, my, I was sharing this with my wife as I'm sharing with the people that are watching me right now. The Spirit said, it's for, for um, people, it's easy for them to fight you yeah. than to follow you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had never heard that before. It is. It he said is. it's easier for them to oppose you wow. right? than to go with you. Oh, sure. Because they're familiar with staying where they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they'll fight you. Mm -hmm. They'll go ahead and do good for one day, two days, and bad the next five, and good mm -hmm. another two days when you talk to them and back on. And So, so uh, Lady Womack, when I, I said, Lord, how do I really help your people? It's like, you don't. Mm. What? Wow. No. Wow. No. You teach them. Uh-huh. And if you really, if, 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 if there's a really, uh, what is called a, a flexible grace from them, not from God, uh -huh. then you can reach them. The first thing is teach them. And they actually have to be open to pursue what you're teaching. And then you can reach them. Wow. Once you reach them, now it's up to them. It ain't up to me. Well, that's true. That is true. It ain't up to me. Yeah. And here's, here's the other thing. <laughs> they have to get the teaching where it ignites a dream in them that the dream is bigger than their excuses mm, what you guys yeah. say what you guys say about that because they, they're full they full of excuses because that's what they're familiar mm -hmm. oh well i can't couldn't do this because such and such oh it was too cold for this oh i'm too fat for such and such oh i'm too poor for such and such oh i had no money for such. They, they, they have to have a dream that's too big for excuses that is, that is not up to me that's powerful. Put the that goes, to you. That's powerful. That goes back to what I was saying earlier about, you know, winners <clears throat> find every reason they can do something, whereas losers find every reason they can't do something. So a winner has a goal or a why. You were talking about yesterday in your message, purpose. They have a why so strong that it's going, it's going to make them unstoppable. Right. That no matter Nothing's what obstacle comes up, they are going to find a way to pursue <clears throat> that purpose, that why, that, that goal. And that is why it's so important. You talk so much about goal setting and writing. Yeah. Because I love Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 2 through 3 that says, Write the vision. Write the vision. And make it plain upon the tables. Yes. So that he that readeth it can run with it. And notice it didn't say walk with it. No. No. Because if, you, if you, you're desperate, you're running. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's that song. Like, I'll come running after you. It's a song, but it's also a song. Mm -hmm. I'll come running after you. Not walking. Because mm -hmm. you know you're so far behind. You can't even. You don't even, want to, you don't even need to walk by faith. Now you need to run. Mm -hmm. Wow. So some people, they don't realize they're so f far behind. My dad used to say, what you don't accomplish by, what is it, age 30, uh, 30 or 33, yeah. you're not going to get it. Mm -hmm. So so now, when you get that that uh, information, you should say, oh, I got to be different. I mm. can't be playing with this. I can't be up and down. I can't be I can't be yo-yo dieting. I can't be yo-yo financing. I can't be yo-yo with relationships. I'm desperate. Yeah. And that's the and and Les you Brown. Know yeah, go ahead. This is you good. need a passion to change. Ah, yeah. I was just gonna quote Les Brown. Wow. Les Brown Ooh. said, "You got to be hungry." Yes. And if you ain't hungry, oh, I'm serious. That, with with that other H, it ain't mm -hmm. happening. 
Wow. And I'm seeing, mm. I, I've seen, I mean, it's been a tremendous year for me. Yeah. But I wasted a lot of time on people who are not mm. hungry. Ooh. And why? How could I say that? There's been no pursuit. No mm. pursuit. There are things that people could have had done that wouldn't have cost them a dime. Mm. And there are things that even if they needed some money for something, they would if they pursued and negotiated and mm. pursued and it would have happened. They were not hungry. Mm. And I, I I'm gonna do one last um uh, what do you call it? Um, finish no. strong. Okay. No, no, and that's oh, it. See. No more, because I, I wasted my time. You know, some people get attitudes when you're trying to help them to get a better life. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And it's like, what? And it's hard when do you this? want something for someone more than they want it for themselves. Uh, that's that's been my burden. Yeah. That's been my. That's really been my <laughs> burden. I want stuff for them. I want money for them more than they want it for themselves. I want help for them more than they want it for themselves. I mean, if, even one of my members, I begged them and begged them and begged them to do certain things and take supplements, and they didn't want it. Wow. People wow. crying and everything. And yeah. They oh, didn't yeah. want it. Yeah. They didn't want it. And what do you do in a situation like that? Nothing. There's nothing you could do. Wow. There is nothing you can do. You are <laughs> And I'm seeing this I'm seeing this now, even yeah, even so with um, people now. It's like, what is wrong with them? And they know you know what you're talking about. Yeah. But up and down, yo yoing and You know uh, what? Go ahead. Now the dog I had mm -hmm. princess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We went out, it was very hot. And you know, when they get very hot, they have the tongue to my <laughs> Mm -hmm. So I said, oh, let me get this dog some water. So I went in the house and I got the water. Do you know she didn't want water as hot as she was? What? I took the water and put it to her nose. And she turned her head. Wow. You cannot make people do what they don't want to do. Ah. Wow. And she was, didn't want to drink that water, but I know she needed it when she was hot. N not even the dog. Huh? Nope. Wow, Mom. Wow. Said, wow, you never told me that. <laughs> wow. That's funny. Isn't that something? I guess that's where that saying comes from. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Yeah, well, have it be the dog. And that's true about that dog. Oh, oh my gosh, that's crazy. And see, that has been. And it, that would have been good for her. Yeah, but she didn't yeah. want it. That has like, been my only complaint this year. Really, my major burden is why won't they get this? Mm. I've cut this down. I've offered this free. I've da da da. I've even even let them have an opportunity to even be in certain things. And boom, why? They really don't want it. That's it. Even when I talk to people about relationships and stuff, they really don't want it. Something you want, you put time in. Yep. So it's like Mom said. Then there's a real lack of passion. Yeah. And it's not even from them not knowing their purpose, because a lot of them do know their purpose now, but, but they're yeah. not passionate about it. Oh yeah, it's not, like it's not like they all. don't. It's like they heard it, but they don't believe it for themselves. Yeah, but do you waste your life away for people like that? No, no. no. And I can, and I've that. done too much of that. Mm -mm. I've done too much of that. Some people are just happy. Mm. Being miserable. Ay, 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 ay. That is so true. And not because that's what they want. It's it's what, what they, they accept. <laughs> yeah. What they accept. Yeah, the, as normal. The tree average. of knowledge. As average. <laughs> as normal. What you were saying. It's their idol. Mm -hmm. it's I was, their I was idol. thinking about this week, things I was offering individuals and people, right? And even if somebody really didn't even have a right to actually take certain things or, or even to be in the program, right? Mm -hmm. They don't even know how to negotiate right. and pursue. True, true. Like, I'm sorry, this is bad. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have did this. Da, da. This is what I'm going to do from now on. Da, da, da. Did the, and I'm going to do this. And, and da, da, da. And, Whatever, you know, I'm, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna times. call you every day. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do no, just just take it laying down. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
All right. It is what it That's is. That's a defeated mentality and a poverty mentality and really somebody who's not hungry and you cannot absolutely change. Yeah. Even this weekend, I made an offer for people to all kinds. It's like, oh, I gave instructions on exactly what to do. Yeah. And it's like, okay, it's just lackadaisical. So, you know, if a person doesn't get, see the ready value, to, in you're ready to have a boring life. Yeah, if a person doesn't see the value in something, they won't what, be pursued. What'd you say, Dr. Joe? Oh. That's what they're used to. That's true. Anything that becomes a habit, like you said, you can't change a habit, you have to upgrade it. And they ain't gonna work to do that, so they just rather stay where they are. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Yeah. They do. I, I, I wrote some notes down there. Um, I, I'll get it out later, and we'll. we'll We'll talk about this later, but that was really a revelation for me. The Lord is like the the image, mm. the image, the the idol of this generation is normalcy. Wow. Let's, let me just everybody's doing this. Every everybody's like this. So yeah, I, everybody in my family's like this. So mm. you know, this is normal. This is average. Wow. I don't need to be supernatural. I don't need to be. I don't need to be what God says. And see, God never does anything normal. God never does anything average. Mm. But the idolatry of the day in this generation is let me be average. My goodness. This is why I'm, I am not happy average. I can't be average. Right. It is It is not in my sanctified Amen. DNA. Amen. It was in my old. Uh -huh. I like that. My sanctified. Yeah, because yeah. that's you're supposed to be regenerated. Mm -hmm. So yeah. normalcy is not supposed to be embraced. There's wow. nothing that's supposed to be normal about a believer. Wow. You know what, Bishop? I, the majority, I'm not judging, but I, a tree is known by its fruit. Mm -hmm. The majority of people say that they're people of God. They look warm. Mm. And the Bible says, you look warm. He's going to spurt you out of his mouth. Yeah. So I see yeah. they look warm. I hear the way they talk. I see the way they act. And they look warm. Yeah. Now, me as a young well, teenager, mm -hmm. I received Christ as my Savior. Mm -hmm. And from that moment, I didn't want to do anything wrong. I wanted to learn the Word. I wanted to get in the Word. I wanted to pray. I, wanted to pray. I had like a hunger for that. Yeah. Wow. Today they don't have no hunger for nothing. Well, well uh, again, too, because we're in a different time, and and, and I'm telling you, they what learned they that from their their parents and how they grew up. You learn average and normalcy because right about uh, people started relaxing in the mm. the '90s and the 2000s about really wow. biblical principles. Hmm. They want, might have went to church, but mm -hmm. biblical principles were not really embraced. Oh, that's it, what it was. It was doing. just a tradition. Right, you're going that way? Yeah. This way? To, we were taught. For sure. One thing was that the old saints taught us. Holiness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so biblical principles. Hey, you, seen hey. uh -huh. you seen that before? Up. That's your first yeah, time? Yeah, every time I come this way. Uh -huh. I come to church. Uh -huh. <laughs> I do it all the time. Hey, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, the principles, again, people have been going to church, but no, the ain't. principles, the principles she, have she not said, been no, they ain't going to church. A lot of used them to, aren't anymore, Used to, but used, used to, to yeah. but the principles are not being followed. It was just, it was just a traditional thing to do, mm -hmm. you know? We go to the Baptist church, the Pentecostal church. Sing in a choir, participate in and things, but in not really apply the word. Yeah. You know, that I know what's good for wrong, but I don't have the strength to do what right. is right because right. I got ah. the word in me. Oh my gosh, please say that one again. I, I know what's I know what's right and wrong, but I don't have the strength to do what's right because I don't have the right word in me. Wow. I got mama's word in me, I got daddy's word in me, I got the, my environment's word in me. You know, that's, so that's like that song, give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. It was good enough for my mother. It was good enough for my mother. Right. So it's just, this is just religion. This that's is, what this a lot is, of people have. It's just this religion. is average. It's normalcy. That's what I knew. That's what I saw. It's normal. And it's good enough. Yeah, it's idolatry. 
Wow. It's, it's normalcy. I'm not talking about real relationship with the Lord where you're really in his word, in his presence, in his principles, in his kingdom. Wow. <clears throat> it's just the religion. This is a yeah. tradition. And that's why the Bible says it is the traditions of men that make the word of God to no effect. Because you already, because you got a different word in you, so you, yeah. in order for the God's word to be in you, you got to get that that religion word out of you, not the word religion, the religiosity, mm -hmm. the practices. So that that's that's why, again, average. What did you, what did you say? Status quo, normalcy. Mm, you learn you learned that from how you grew up. Mm. Yeah. It's funny because the Lord uh, said to me, uh, there's somebody I got to prophesy to, um, I, I probably should do it today. And this, this is something the Lord gave me to tell them. You settled. Mm. You settled. Mm. I was in the shower and the Lord said, because yeah, remember I told you I was going to just post something or whatever. I said, no, you need to speak to them and then post something and let them know you're subtle. Man. Man, so you know when you say that it's it's easier to fight than to follow. Wow, he went through that. Yeah. Ooh, he went through the he red. Went through. I went the other one went through yellow. You, he went you, through. You red. saw me. You saw me break, right? Ooh, man, he swept by you like crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah, he man, went right it's through. So dangerous. It is. You know what? It's, what really just hit me the the reason is so much easier to fight <clears throat> than to follow is because if you fight you have to admit to yourself that everything you knew and you had held to was a lie and you have to call your environment wrong you have to call it wrong it and was and a people lie. don't people don't people don't want them they grab by grandpa daddy and mommy to be wrong right so you want to you rather <laughs> make the truth a lie See the word of God says, and, "Let and, let every man let, let God the, be and, true, and let the and lie let be and let the lie, lie be true." But you want to make the lie true, like because it's easier to to hold to the lie yeah. than to have to work to undo all that you've learned or a lot of what you've learned in order to have. Watch it, this guy gonna come through the. Don't you see yourself, dude? And he's okay with it. Yeah, because he's. Okay. Yeah. Do you see he? I was saw, run wait now I he's saw. running to get healthier I would imagine yeah but and he crossed his butt not thinking in an intersection hurt. I saw him. he risked his life zombie what yeah, did you see that uh -huh. he, that's why I said watch it because he, I know he, you didn't see him because no he was I, I saw him running on a red light I saw him. I saw that's that's somebody. why I break yep <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something What's I the wasn't point? Gonna tell you, but yesterday going home from church it was for me to go I had the green light. And then I don't know if you saw how he was going to do it. Bishop, he would have uh -huh. hit me, and I don't know if I'd have been here today. What? I saw my car just in time, and he came zoom. Thank I you, said, Lord. Why? I got the light. Why would he do such stupid stuff, rushing and beat the light? Oh, yeah. my gosh. You yeah. really have to Almost be watching. Yeah, I saw him. That's why I even stopped earlier. Um, it's like when a green light hits, you better look before you just put pedal gas to Oh, you the, do. Because yeah. people step off the curb yeah. and a red light, they're looking at their phone. Yeah, they think it's is. funny. I actually we were somewhere yeah, they think it's funny. um one day, Ma, we were actually going to um one of our fitness classes and uh -huh. these teenagers were walking in the sidewalk and they thought it was funny. They just were stepping into the middle of the street oh, yeah. like on, on the green. Yeah, and they thought it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you you gonna stop anyway. So. Exactly. <clears throat> and it's really Oh, that is so, oh my Lord, have mm, mercy. That's why I told you, I'm not into speed. Mm -hmm. Take your time. That wasn't even a real young guy who, uh -uh. who just, he thought it was cute. Yeah, he had yeah, something else wrong with him. Yeah, wasn't. I saw it. Ah. Somebody else come behind you. Let's you know? see, what does it's like, it what's say? What's the point of jogging for fitness and health yeah. if you're going to brisk your life on a red light? Kill yourself. <gasps> okay, you should be okay here. Or should I just park on the side? This is a side street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me park on the side street. All right, honey, you want to have some closing yeah. words? We can always come back later. Yeah, hold on. Let me. Let me can we get in this way? Yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah, it's crazy out here. I don't know what's going to happen in the next year. 
I think I don't, that's crazy. I don't think people are going to get any smarter. I think they're, they're, they're oh, dumbing no, no. down. It's going to get I, worse. I'm going to tell you. Oh, and, gonna and I, I, I'm going to tell you. And I warn people, but they ain't get it. Because if so, they would have been, even over the weekend, like people would have, they would have like, Bishop, I need to talk to you. They ain't get it. I don't know if you heard me on my last that call. I was like, y'all need help. Like now, you got to. You, there needs to be a, a, a sign of hunger, thirst, and desperation, and mm. and it's like crickets. And good people, good oh, people, absolutely, but defeated mm. and don't know it. Mm. Don't know it. So how do you fix it when you don't know it? You don't. Well, you bring the mirror of the word to them, and they see it. Then do you want to? Now some of them do know. Something ain't right, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but care not to fix it. I'm gonna tell you that's, something. That's, I think a lot the, of them know something ain't right because that's why they're drawn to you because you're you're you are a mirror. Well, the word you hold up the word, which is a mirror, to let them know something's not right, and they keep coming to you because they're drawn to you because you cry loud in spirit. Well, why won't you follow the instruction that can set you free? That's <laughs> That's the thing. That's Why the just follow? Because any because right. the instruction you did follow yeah. it worked. Yeah. If, if I tell you blah blah blah, da, 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 this will work for you. Blah blah blah. You get more healthy. Blah blah blah. You'll get hired for this. Blah blah blah. You you're gonna make some uh, interest. You'll make some money. People see that. Like, yeah. come on, just follow. That's it. Keep following the instructions. That's you that's see, it. it's working. Yeah. You go to a doctor don't, because you need help. Right? Don't pick and choose what to follow. Yeah. You go to a doctor because you need help. Yes. Okay, I'm going to the doctor. I've heard this doctor can help me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to this doctor. Mm -hmm. The doctor gives you the scripture drugs. You take them home and you put them on the shelf for them reason. Yeah. Oh, uh, that happens a yeah. lot. You see, that's what and it on. and it happens yeah. even it even happens with medical the medical doctor. Mm -hmm. There are people that get prescriptions. And I ain't for prescriptions, but if it's gonna save your life, take yeah. the freaking prescription. Don't do it. I have there, there there's been a, a, a young lady I used to date years ago. And her mom would have all these medications and some of them were not even open. And I'm not for medication, but you went to the doctor. He right. gave you that right. and never took it. Yeah. yeah, I remember somebody that you were taking care of. They brought a bag full <laughs> of the stuff. I mean, that, that's crazy. Yeah. But that's what they're doing with the It's work. like, why do you go to the doctor and he's telling you this? If you trust him and you yeah. went to that medical doctor. Yeah. And then made the effort to pay for prescriptions, which is not cheap, mm -hmm. and then you don't take it. What you can do with well, herbs? Are you crazy? It's like, yes. it's like mom said. They, so that's they, they go to the doctor because they know something's wrong. Yep. But they don't. They, I think they want you to do it for them. Mm -hmm. It's like, or just, or just give me a magic pill. I see some. And then it's questions here. Who is this? Oh, mm -hmm. I think I'm, this is Vanessa. I'm, Hi, Vanessa. I'm fixed just like that. Don't make me work to do it. I don't want to do the. <laughs> don't don't uh, give me some work to do. No, doctor, I go home with you. <laughs> so they know something's wrong. That's why. That's the attraction to says, the doctor or to you or to whatever it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long did it take for you to make up your mind, and what was that deciding moment? Um. When I got tired of suffering. <laughs> Yeah. I just made up my mind. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Okay, it. for instance, cigarettes, right? I, I know that was dumb and stupid. I came up in the household. I ain't never seen my parents smoke. I ain't never oh. seen my parents took drugs. I was influenced by high school, culture, mm -hmm. friends, cousins. I was influenced. You know, that what you hang around and influence you. Yeah. And I knew it was wrong when I was involved in it. Right. But I said, this is stupid. I just said, this is dumb. And I stopped. Yeah. I didn't have to go to no classes. I didn't have to get hypnotized. I didn't have to get baptized. Wow. Nobody had to even lay hands on me. Wow. I didn't need the deliverance service. I just said, I ain't going to do it no more. And here's another one. That's good. That's good. I have more women than you, than you got toes, fingers, <laughs> hairs. <laughs> And when I made up in my mind, I wanted to be serious. I wanted to get married. I didn't want to be playing around. 
I just stopped. Just yeah. stop. That's what yeah. you do. I want it. I want it. Oh, and that's the whole it. thing. Yeah. yeah, God will help you in this, but God, I don't believe God helped you until you decide, decide. I ain't going to do it no more. That's it. Wow. And that's so true. That's um, I told you I heard Pastor Marvin Wines. He was good saying some stuff that's about so the right to choose. And we don't realize we have the right to choose a whole bunch of stuff. Ain't nobody taking away a right and no party can give you a right. There's no such you thing. You already have the right to choose. Yeah. Because the scripture it's says, choose ye this day right. whom you will serve. So it's not so a matter of how long it took or how long. I remember, I can speak for myself. I remember, yeah, because I mean, we don't tell you all our business, but we, we, we had a very rocky, you know, first several years of marriage. And I remember, you know, my part and when i remember when i decided like this is insanity like this this back and forth and and you know i'm i'm gonna make this work no i'm not gonna make this work yes i can make this work no i'm not this is ridiculous first of all i i, I remember just deciding that this this was how do i say it i remember deciding that I needed to stop the insanity. That's that's basically bottom line. Ah. And realizing that did you need a psychologist? I did not need a psychologist. Did you need a, a, a psychiatrist? No. A social worker? No, I did not. And I'm not. Did saying, you I'm need deliverance? Therapy or counselors or <laughs> no. anything like that? I think no. it's very valuable. You made up your mind. But I remember that's making up my mind, like that's it. For, because <laughs> a lot of things I think we attempt to change situations or things or people instead of realizing we're the ones that need to change, and then you know we can see a, a change in the situation or person in response to us changing first so you know one thing i had to realize is like i'm not gonna make i'm not able to make him be or do anything that i want him to be or do he has to make up that for himself and i'm not able to make him yeah. change you know so i had to change myself and say you know what this is ridiculous mm -hmm. how many times am i gonna go back and forth doing this this is stupid you know so it's not so much a question was how long does it take? <laughs> how long does it take? It doesn't take you know any what? length of time. It's you know just what? when you... How, how long do you want to stay in your mess? Exactly. You how, how, long, how long do you want to stay in something that you know ain't working for you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And the reason why, because you're not totally ready to give it up. Ah, <laughs> that's why I was with them females. I wasn't ready to give <laughs> it up. That's, so you that's why... No. That's why I kept no. eating that crap. I wasn't yeah. ready to give it up. That's yeah. it. In other words, That's it didn't it. hurt me enough. That's mm -hmm. it. Like, uh, what's his name? Story so tells. Um, Gladys Knight's ex husband. You don't want the dog? Les Brown. You don't he want the dog? Story about the, the, the yeah. Dog. Yeah, the tail, the tail under the rocking chair don't hurt enough. Yeah. All right. And that's why. Pain is important for many people. Right. Pain is a motivator. Even sickness and disease. Sometimes mm -hmm. some people don't learn. I've heard I've heard people they, they wrote magnificent books and the magnificent seminars and they didn't even know life until they faced death. Mm. And that's what works for some people. Mm. Some people have to really get that's to true. their lowest. They have to get they have to get slapped. They have to get kicked. They have to get wow. cancer. They have to get be abused mm. and i know people say oh no because then they wake up yeah. and say i gotta stop the insanity do you remember some show we were watching the other day i think it was on netflix i think it was a series so we haven't finished watching it yet but they, there's a woman wow. at a, a, at a like some kind of a shelter or a facility for women who've been battered and she was she made oh friends. yeah 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 wow. she made friends with a oh, a female and mm. the female she woke up the next day and went to go visit her friend at her room and the girl was gone mm. and the the mother of the house she's like the house mother she said oh yes yeah, she left and this was yeah. her third time and she said it usually takes <clears throat> them seven times yeah to go back and forth to this man who beat him behind. Got to get abused yeah, seven times. Abused seven so, times. So that's my it, that's yeah. my answer to all you out there. You need a little bit more suffering, a little bit more abuse, mm. a little bit more sickness and disease, a little bit more hurt heart, a little bit more hurt legs, a little bit more headaches, a little wow. bit more poverty, because you ain't learned a lesson yet. Mm. So that's my prayer. Send it, Lord. Send it. Intensify wow. it. 
Yeah. Cause I, I could, and then, cause it's not fair for me to want it more than you. No. And I'm suffering because I yeah. want it for you mm -hmm. and you don't give a damn right. mm -hmm. about all of my time of fasting, praying, getting lessons to teach you how to do it, mm -hmm. but you're ignoring it. That's you know how many times, and, and, and I, I would say more people get into the word now in our ministry, probably at the left, but you know, most of the time that folks been there, I've been wasting my time. Mm. They, they ain't even go back and review no lesson. It was just like, oh, we had a hallelujah time. And now let me get back to my old, <laughs> let me get back to my old. Well, see how long it took him to even start bringing the paper. Box yeah. Up. Let me get back to my old God, crap. You know, they did. So I'm, y'all going to see a different bishop. I'm going to stop caring. Oof. You know why? The Bible says, cast all your cares Fine. on him. Yeah. Why should I care about something that you don't care about? That's right? true. You know, it's scary to me because you know, I tell you all the time, I love the book of Revelation. And I've seen in there where there's some, when they go through this, the plagues, you know, there's the seven thunders, the seven seals, the seven vials. There are some that <clears throat> even after they go through all the torment, they still don't confess the Lord. So, they still don't change. I mean, you see that? <laughs> I mean, they go through suffering, so yeah. who am I? judgment. So who am I? Who am I? Why, why, why have I been carrying that burden so long? I'll tell you who changed quickly too. Who? Hezekiah. God <laughs> turned that man into a beast. He came back. He you, had his. You're talking about oh, Nebuchadnezzar. 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 Yes. All oh, right. So yeah. Did. Nebuchadnezzar. You know, he he was just too proud and didn't mm. want to do right. Didn't want to be right. Plus, I'll fix you. Let's have a new prayer. <laughs> wow. Lord, turn them to their lowest beast self. Ooh, Ooh. A beast. They didn't even know who he was. That's my new prayer. Get out of here. Remind me. Wow. Write that in my prayer book. My goodness. Because you know, my dad taught me this. I don't know if you remember this, Mom. Dad used to teach this. God loves us so much, and I love you so much that I'm going to pray that you do not get any sleep mm. until you make up your mind right. to live for Jesus. People used to come mm. and say, "Man, I ain't been getting no sleep." Now, this, this was way before our phones, you know, and they were like, "I, I gotta give my life to the Lord." God loves you so much. He's going to interrupt all your 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 life, all your stuff wow, to really? get your attention. See, because we always think, we always look at God and Jesus as these little like lambs and sheep and yeah, calm. Yeah, and, yeah. And, so, yeah. and it's that's not God. And that's not even a father. Well, I don't want, want no father like that. Wow. You know? Oh, you know, meek and lowly. Right. Oh, high and holy. Uh -huh. no, that's okay. not him. Yeah. Wow. He turned oh. tables over. He <laughs> called them he white sepulchers, dead it's bones. Okay. There was nothing like no. meek, yeah. humble, like no. like sissified. Right. Put it that way. Right. But that's what we want. We want that because you know you you got people. Oh, man, you need to be more sensitive. You need what? No, you too freaking old to be sensitive. Mm -hmm. You're about to die. You got about a few more years left. Seriously. Mm -hmm. This is ridiculous. Yeah. You haven't been in your purpose yet. You didn't even know, even didn't even think about purpose mm. till you walked in these doors. That's I true. can't be playing around with your life. <laughs> That's true. Uh -huh. You should say that again. A lot. Yeah. Ooh. The only people wrong. didn't think about purpose till they heard you talking about it. Yeah. Oh, and you were talking about it for years. <laughs> So I was like, why am I going to play with you? Oh, we hope and let's agree that you're getting you to your why, <laughs> that you're getting to your purpose. I know you're in your 50s, mm. but you have plenty of time. No, you don't. No, no you don't. They're pushing All right. their children at their age. Yep. But, All right. Um, I see Let's... some people said something else. I don't know. Oh, there go. I think Vanessa. Okay. Mm -hmm. She said, okay, I have to really want it. It didn't hurt enough. Nope. Didn't hurt enough. Didn't hurt enough. And ain't just you. There's a whole lot of people that ain't hurt enough. But I guarantee you, 2025, yeah, and people going to want to come to me, I ain't going to have, I ain't, I think in 2025, and you helped me, lady woman, to stay on course. Dr. Joan, you helped me too. Not to meet with nobody that ain't listening to me. Mm. Uh -huh. 
That's nobody. Be a very short list. If, 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 if they ain't listening to the, if they ain't listening right. to the, if they ain't following the godly mm. advice, the last one I gave them. Mm. I don't care what kind of emergency they got. Go find another pastor, whatever. Please pull me and say, remember you said. Because mm. that helps me a lot. So should they still get the prophetic or you want to know like. That's prophetic insight. You need to follow instructions. Yeah. yeah. So follow you instructions. Yeah. You don't follow instructions. What do you need to meet with me for? That's true. I hear you loud and clear. Well, they're going to say they're following. No, no, no. The, like you said earlier, you know fruit by what? A tree is known by fruit. Exactly. Oh. So you can always tell somebody to follow instruction. Yeah. Because there's going to be some fruit. Right. God never going to tell you to do something and give you no results. Mm. Actually, God, God, God never gives you what you... God never gives you what you don't qualify for first. Mm -hmm. So let's mm -hmm. go. All right. Hope y'all got something out of this because I sure got something <laughs> out of it. I am I, I ain't wasting no time. I'm going to have one. I was going to do it all the way to the end of December. And I was like, let, let me know. No, they just take, they take they're taking it lightly. Taking it lightly. Don't realize there are people who pay you thousands of dollars, which you're willing to have some time with them for for free. Yeah, that's true. No, bitch, you know when it's getting to you yeah. more than we know. You about right? Your body. Yeah. So we know when it's getting to you. And, and you know, know, you know what I've done about something. I've <laughs> yes, done, ain't I? So, yep. So you know, so when it gets to the place that you think you are now, yep, it's time for you to change. It's time. I mean, you know what? Because the enemy wants the leader to die. The, mm. You know, the enemy wants to kill you mm. because you're the one that's leading. You're the one that's teaching the word. <clears throat> So we get rid of you, and then it will fall apart. Everybody else yeah. can go on their own way, doing their own thing, backslide, doing something, everything. Mm. Yep. So he wants to stress you out, mess you out, do everything he can. So you're Ooh. over here. Wow, that's so true and so wise. Um, reading uh, Deuteronomy <laughs> a lot right now. Actually, Bishop taught us a message some months ago about copying the word, carrying the word, committing the word. So I write... Um, I write scriptures every day. So I'm writing in Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. I'm in 32. So Moses was telling the children of Israel, you don't listen to me while I'm alive. Yeah. And I'm right. about to die. So I know you ain't going to mm -hmm. listen to me even all the more. But I'm going to tell you something before I go. So it's like, you're right. It's like they, the leader knows when he's getting to the <laughs> point where he needs to just say, you know what? Pull back. Yes, because like you said, if the leader's not here, they're, they're going to listen even less. Oh, yeah. yeah. So why should a leader let the people kill them? Yep. Yeah, because, just because they're not listening. They're going to mm -hmm. listen less with him not there. So I'm, I'm <laughs> serious. So that's what it is. You get the leader, you, you got the body. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. Get his yeah. head, get his mind, get everything. Kill him. You, oh, you got it. So I'm going to do mm. like Uber Eats. I'm just going to deliver. <laughs> leave your damn package at the door. <laughs> That's it. And if you, yeah. you you eat it, you eat it. Yeah. I'm going to deliver. I'm going to do what I was created to do. Deliver. That's good. That's it. I'm That's a, good. I'm going to do like Grubhub. I'm going to deliver. Uh -huh. Grubhub and Uber are not going to sit there and wait for you to open nope. the door, take the nope. package. They're not going to feed wash, it to wash you. Wash your hands. <laughs> chew it a hundred times. Uh, no, nope. And I've been, and I've been, I've been the wrong delivery person. For, the, for their life. Mm, mm, mm. They wanted me to spoon feed. Them. They go shop for the food. Mm -hmm. Go prepare, wash the food, mm -hmm. prepare the food, cook the food, season the food, <laughs> put plate the food, and then sit the fool down <laughs> and then feed the food to the food. That's what they wanted me to do. Wow. Nah, ain't doing wow. that no more. Amen. That's good. Yep. That's better for you. Uh, but that's what it says. And not provide plates or forks either. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it's different. It's different. I, I'm, I, I got a wake up call. And you know, God always, he always tell you stuff, but you just don't want to accept it because you're like, but Lord, maybe they'll change. And it's like, if they, this is November. November. What do you think? No power in pursuit of 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 opportunities that are golden. What do you think is making you wake up right now? 
Um, well, first of all, the spirit, because I, I hear the spirit good, really good. And then I'm getting older, not that I'm worn out, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to let them wear me out. Yeah. I saw, um, <clears throat> I saw, um, a, um, I can't think of his first name, Winans, the pastor. Mm -hmm. I saw him and he was giving a good word. Mm -hmm. And he's he's men, he's preaching to the folks, and I'm looking in the congregation. They look nonchalant. Actually, mm -hmm. took a while to even get him, and he he just falls mm -hmm. over. I don't know if you saw that, mom. He falls over while he's teaching, and mm -hmm. I said, "Oh hell no, <laughs> that is not going to be me. I am not going out like that." You trying to get something to your people and you so worn out that yeah. your heart and your brain stop. You got to fall out in your congregation. That's what happened to my dad. Mm. He's in church. He dies in church. He died? Talk, talk about dad. Dad dies in oh, church. No. Oh. Okay. And I saw the insensitivity of the people when um, they were filming Pastor Marvin Wine. Because I could see something wasn't right. And it's like nobody seemed to be aware and no, the because, because they wasn't even listening to what he was saying. Mm. Not, you have no idea how many times I see people dozing and going to sleep. That's yeah. terrible. Yeah. Dozing well, and going go to, to sleep. sleep in church? Of all places, they wouldn't That's do that in the courthouse. Yeah. Some people they wouldn't do like that regular. They wouldn't. Not. It's not even like they had a really long day and you know, or it's really no. late. Yeah. Some people goes like regular. And if I, I was, I'd be like, I stand up. I'm, I'm not gonna be that. That's dishonorable. <laughs> so, oh man. Now, he, you, he, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't spend hours in the presence of the Lord getting mm. that one word for them. Mm. Eh? Mm. It's like, oh no, 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 oh, no, man. no, 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 no. It's it's like I need to be tired. I ain't, I don't want to sleep in church. No, that's one thing. Yeah. I want to hear the word. I, I want to hear the word. Got to go yeah. To sleep. Yeah. Yeah. That's wow. Crazy. Wow. All right. I want to go. Let's let's go and knock this out. And yeah. uh, and I'm gonna tell you. Jesus said, "I am coming that you might have life." That's he right. meant it. Mm. He meant it for you too, pastors. Yeah. He meant it for you too, prophets and bishops. I'm talking about the authentic ones. He said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So don't neglect yourself because some people you can't help no matter what. Right. You could fast, pray, bind, okay. loose, kick, snot. Some people don't want it. And people have proven it to me. There are people who could, they could be alive right now. But they rather they they decided to it's better to fight you bishop than to follow you bishop. Wow. Wow. That's sad. I don't want to pursue. I used to use that word all actually this individual helped me to come up with that word. Mm -hmm. Pursue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, gotta go. Gotta go. Mm -hmm. Bless you, Sheila. Sheila Olive said, tell you hi, say hello. Hi there. You remember Sheila hey. Olive, mom? You do, you do. <laughs> bless you, bless you all. Peace and blessings.